Well, hi there, everybody. You're traveling with Jack, and just like the apron says, with my heavenly wife, Pam. We're back in the kitchen today for a quick little dinner I'm putting together tonight. You know, I've done a fried chicken Caesar salad in the past, but tonight we're going to do a special grilled chicken Caesar salad with a little bit of kick to it as well. Now, I've already gone out and I have grilled a beautiful organic chicken breast there, and I've roasted a couple of nice jalapeno peppers. Those are going to be used in our dressing. That's right. We don't do bottle dressing as in this house. We want to know what we're putting in our bodies. So, quick and easy, one of the first things we'll do is we're going to take our nice little chicken breast here. And you know how in the restaurant you have those real pretty slices of chicken? Well, it's really easy to do. And now this chicken, I grilled it actually this afternoon, and then I refrigerated it. And that makes it so much easier to slice up and look beautiful so far as the presentation goes on your salad. Now this would be enough if my lovely bride Pam were still here for us both to have a chicken Caesar salad with this one big chicken breast. But this is okay. I'm gonna do half of it for what we're gonna be doing tonight. So there we go, we got some nice slices. And when you refrigerate it and you let it chill, it makes it so much easier to slice up into some beautiful little slices like we have there. I'll show that to you. See how nice those look? Now, next up, we've got our jalapenos. Here they are. We're gonna cut the stems off, of course. Toss that aside, got a garbage disposal over there. And then I'm gonna cut them up in about three pieces. And I've got a little mini food processor over here. I'm gonna put them in there. And I left the seeds in because I want this to be a spicy chicken Caesar salad. So that's in there. Now, we're gonna add, you guys know, you could do this with mayonnaise. I prefer veganaise or veganese as we call it. I think it's down south, we call it veganese. Even though I don't live in the south anymore, you can't take the hillbilly out of it. So I'm adding that to my little mini food processor here. I'm adding my veganese. And you're saying, how much? Please tell us how much. I don't know, two or three tablespoons, thereabouts. Make enough noise for you there? Okay, next up, I'm gonna add just a little bit of organic lemon juice to my jalapenos and my veganaise. Next, I'm adding a little Worcestershire. Now, you're probably saying, why am I doing Worcestershire? Well, <laughs> excuse me, if this were to be a true Caesar salad dressing, I'd probably have anchovies. I don't like them, but did you know you can substitute Worcestershire? And now we don't wanna put much in there. We don't wanna overpower it. So we've got that in there. Next, we've got some black pepper. Just some plain old fashioned black pepper. Put that in there. Next up, a little bit of garlic powder. And garlic powder is gonna be better than, those of you who are the purest and wanna do fresh pressed garlic, nah, just use a little powder. Not a lot, just a little dab. Give it a little kick there. Next, we'll add just a little bit of salt. This is going to be sea salt that we're gonna grind into our processor. Don't need much of that at all, just three or four cranks. Next up, I've got some beautiful organic olive oil. Where's my towel? Because you know why? This is gonna kind of get all over the place. Now, and you just wanna kind of cover everything that you've got in your processor. Here, I'll, I'll pull it off and show you guys. You gotta get an idea? Okay, obviously we want this all to mix up nicely together. Uh-oh, not sure I should have done that. Okay, now it's in there. Let me get my towel. All right, and that's it, okay? So we put our top on. This is the way we crush it up, crush it up. This is gonna be so, so delicious. If you don't have one of these little mini processors, I highly recommend them. 
Oh my goodness, this looks beautiful. I don't know if you can see it, all mixed up. I'm gonna taste it. Oh my gosh, and it is spicy. I'm gonna tell you, if you're not wanting it real spicy, just do one jalapeno pepper. Okay, I've got some beautiful romaine lettuce that I've already chopped up. Putting that here on my plate. There we go. Next up, I've got a combination shave, Parmesan, Romano, and Asagio. Asagio cheese? I don't know. You see what it is. So we'll sprinkle a little bit of that over our salad. Now, next up, you know how in the restaurant they come around, they go, would you like some fresh ground pepper on your salad? Well, we're gonna do that here on our lettuce and our beautiful sliced Parmigiano cheese. Okay, next. Oh, I forgot, I gotta get a spoon. Bear with me. A little spoon. I've got my dressing here. I'm gonna pull out this thingy, the blade. Just kind of taking up some space. And I'm just gonna spoon over some of the dressing. Now what you could do, you could just pour this in a big old bowl and just mix it all up together. I could have done that, but for our little cooking show here, I thought we'd do it like this. Just however much you want. All right, now my chicken, I did it in these beautiful little medallions, but you know what I think I'm gonna do? I'm gonna cut them in half because those, ba those bites are gonna be really big. And you're probably saying, where are the croutons? Believe it or not, I don't like croutons that much. I don't like to have a, you know, the big old card crunchy thing in my salad. But if you like croutons, obviously you would add some. And my goodness, quick, easy, and done. Grilled chicken Caesar salad with a fantastic, spicy Caesar dressing. Hope you enjoyed that. As always, if you think this is something one of your friends or relatives might enjoy, please share our video. And as always, we ask you to please subscribe to our channel, Traveling with Jack and Pam. You guys have a great day, and you know what? Let's make it a better tomorrow. Bye now.